Okay, let's learn this surface law model. It's a surface model. So, we create the plane from the front plane and plane 2 also from the plane 2 also from the front plane 200 mm. After that, we are going to create the sketches on on the plane one, plane two, and in the front plane. Then after that, we are going to create a sketch on the top plane and on the right plane. Okay, let's create a new new part, new part. Okay, under plane one, we are going to sketch this, this, this profile. So I'm going to create a plane first, uh, 200mm from the front plane. So I click front, plane. So the plane command actually is from here, you can get from here, but then I, 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 I put it, put it here, easier for me to assess. So go to front plane, click the plane command, and 200 mm. Okay. Front plane again, plane, and uh, uh, you want to offset, flip the other side 200 mm also. So remember dimension not important uh, just just for practicing I hide click and hide so to tidy up the the, the screen so now we are going to create this this sketch on plane one so I go to plane one click sketch so I'm going to draw center line first Center line. Right click, select. Right click, select. You you exit the command, or you can press the escape key to exit the line command. So I'm going to draw another line. Center line. Right click, select. So I'm going to select the midpoint of this of this line. Control, click the origin, and make coincident. Okay, let's dimension this one to be 50. And this line, 73. So this is a spline. 1.2.3 point spline. So we, we go to spline, we create a spline. Click the end point, end point, end point. Again, right click, select to end the command. And the sketch is fully defined. So we can exit the sketch. Now on the front plane, we are going to draw another profile. Front plane, sketch. Again, we draw center line. Make sure it's vertical. Select. Center line we draw outside. And we, then we bring it in. Select. Again. Click the, the midpoint. Control click the origin. And make it coincident. Okay, let's dimension. 45 and 66. Dimension forty five and sixty six. Again, we are going to draw a spline three point one point two point three point right click select. 
again it's fully defined we exit the sketch next on plane 2 we are going to draw another 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 profile so go to plane 2 click sketch then we draw center line make sure it's vertical select draw center line again outside then method click click select so I click the midpoint control click the origin it can make coincidence okay that's dimension 75 25 and this line click 85 so this is a bigger bigger profile so go to spine again click 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 right click select so again it's fully defined see the sketch now on the top plane we are going to draw this profile so go to top plane sketch okay i want to convert entity convert entity convert this okay so i i window I make it construction line. So I'm going to draw a center line. Let it select. So now we are going to draw the spline here: one point, two point, three point, four point, five point. So go to spline, click the origin, and somewhere here click. Right click, select. Okay, let's dimension here to here 100. Here to here 100. And then 95 here. Undo. I mentioned uh, type wrongly. So here should be ninety five. So here to so here seventy three. So the sketch is fully defined. So you're going to mirror this entity. So I'm going to mirror entity. So like here, mirror about. So you notice that I I, I take out the, the sketch too far here. Actually, I don't have to come here because it's too far away. Here, I, I will concentrate on the picture and other and other command okay now the sketch is fully defined that's it now on the right plane we are going to sketch this go to the right plane sketch Again, I want to convert entity. Click convert entity. Here. 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 There's a window, select all. Make construction. So we are going to draw 1.2.34 and another 5 point spline. Click spline. 
Oh, my end point here. Click one, two, three, four, five. Right click, select. Next dimension. Here to here is eighty six. Here to here. One hundred six. From here to here, you can see I, I put there one one nine. There one one seven. Okay, now the sketch is fully defined. You see fully defined here, so I turn over. So we are going to use surface law. So I go to feature. Now I might exit first. Go to surface. And I go to asymmetric view. Then you can see. So I'm going to create a lock. A lock surface. So go to. Of the surface, let me delete this one. So we have one sketch here for the profile. Second sketch, third sketch, this is the profile, and then the guide curve is sketch five. There, this one, the like. Okay, this one, select group, click OK, select this one, same thing, OK. So now from the review, you can see that the surface is locked. OK, so this is just, uh, just um, a surface model. Okay, thanks for watching the video.